I'm not kidding. I'm like, man, there's something in my body. It's almost like I was drugged or something. <laughs> What is going on guys, Alex Huber here. Welcome back to the channel again, uploading Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I'm here again with Coach Greg. Yup, and today we're going to be going over a list of people I'm going to give to Greg and we are going to determine whether or not based on their transformation or how they look, if they are natural or not natural. This should be interesting. So we're going to start off with Vaughn Walker, personal uh, big friend of mine. When I first met Vaughn before he started blowing up on social media, he looked insane and he claimed natural back in these pictures and I never believed him, but there was points where he would stay at my house. We, he stayed at my house for like two weeks in a row at like one time and I never saw him do anything back then. He, he is now openly on gear though. I'm going to say that he's natural, but what you would, you would say no. You ever see the show House? It's a series for eight years. It was a TV, it's a TV show, it's one of the best shows, and this guy was a doctor genius, and his famous quote was, everybody lies. Mm. And so, he was at your house for two weeks, not showing you stuff, I could literally have a girlfriend live with me for a year, and she'd never know I did a shot. It would be really? very easy to hide, and why would he want to just tell you? Like, people don't just come out and tell you all their biggest secrets. Like, mm -hmm. just because you're really tight doesn't mean he's going to say... You know, this is what I think about in, in my dark time. Like, not everyone is open about stuff. So, yeah. I don't think it's something he would share. And so, I, I don't see him as being natural there. I don't think he was natural in the first photo. I think he's been unnatty for a while. Even in that first one. It's a little, yeah. I mean, it's possible he's natural. Obviously, I'm not 100% sure. But I would say he's probably started light there going heavier here and full on everything and anything in the last photo. So you're going to say not natty in that Not that natty. Picture. Okay. Next up we're going to do is Lex Little. So my theory on this guy, when I first analyzed his physique, I thought he wasn't natural because he had just the most ridiculously huge thighs. Yeah. Like it was just, it was the quads and how fast he put muscle on them. And so I originally thought the guy was not natural, but since then the guy's been drug tested and he hasn't grown exponentially and so I just think he had really good genetics, put on a lot of muscle really early. He's a strong guy, gifted genetics, like one in a million type guy and he's done it natural. So I yeah. think he is in fact natural, I'd say lifetime natural for this guy. I agree with you. Um, Lex is one of like probably my favorite friends I've met in the, in the fitness industry so far and just like hanging around him, lifting with him like when we're next to each other lifting, like it looks like I know for a fact like he's natty. Cause I know I'm natty. I look at him like he, there's nothing that like screams at me like, like gear. You know what I mean? He <laughs> seems like healthy. He does have freakishly big legs, but I feel like that comes from the powerlifting that he's done. I feel like a lot of powerlifters can get pretty cracked legs. They have good leg gen genetics, so yeah, I would say natty. But he is strong. He's like mad strong, especially for his like weight. But he's. I've never met him now. in person. Like like you are friends with him, but I've mm. chatted a lot to him in, in private, like with yeah. voice calls and stuff. And he was super nice. Great, no, great guy. Yeah. And then like we get a, that's what I was saying. If you ever get in the, we're trying to get Greg to like start streaming or play video games or something. <laughs> it seems fun. I feel like that would be the funniest thing ever because you could definitely get like someone that works for you whatever to like set you up a whole gaming setup and like oh, yeah. you the basics because like me and Lex and Max will, will like play games sometimes because we also we're like the people who stream or who are like into gaming and also fitness so that'd be that'd be funny if we like <laughs> if we have to all that tried something. that would be fun both gonna say natural for Lex Little next up is going to be Max Taylor. Very similar to Lex. Max is probably one of my best friends I've met in the fitness industry. Love the guy. Very familiar with this guy. I've, I've watched a number of his videos. I've seen what he looks like. And for this guy, I actually think he's natural again. I, I feel like he's just got great genetics. He's trained hard. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to predict that this guy goes not natural in the next couple of years. Really? I feel like he's going to start. Like I think he's going to have the passion to just keep pursuing it. I think it's, when you're making a lot of gains, it's not that tempting to go on gear, but when the, the gains slow to down, stop, yeah. it's tough. And to just want to keep going, especially when you're in the public eye and you just want to keep improving, the temptation is so strong. It's hard to say no. I feel like for me too, like the, I hate the aspect of like going to the gym. It used to be exciting in high school, go to the gym, every workout, like I know I'm getting bigger from it. Versus like as you, you know, maybe once I get to like six, seven, eight years of training, it's going to be like, I'm going almost to just maintain. And it's not like you're looking towards any new gains, which is like mad annoying. That's like frustrating. The hardest part for me right now in the gym is I'm older and I've already taken steroids. And now that I'm off of them, I don't get bigger. It's not like the same fun because I don't go to the gym every week or month and see like, wow, my chest looks so much fuller. I don't get yeah. that. So it's not as exciting. I just do it to kind of maintain. But mm -hmm. I get my gains from, from cardio. I get faster on the bike. So that's yeah. what's fun for me. So I'm going to say natural. I, I think Max is nat natural. I think me, Max, and Lex are like the three natties. 
industry. Gabe, so he's he's big. He's like friends with Lex. He he lives with him quite a bit. Now this guy, to me, on first glance, is not somebody I followed a lot. He looks natural. That's he next to does James. look natural. I can't say that just because he looks natural that he is. A lot of guys could take every steroid in the world and never get to this guy's level of size or condition. It's just not something that's in the card for them. So just because he looks natural doesn't mean that he is, but yeah. I'm gonna, when I'm not sure, I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt and say that he's probably natural. The best way to see would be like, if I see a photo of him and then all of a sudden the next month he put on five or 10 pounds of muscle and it's like, okay, what happened there? That's yeah, really yeah. how you can tell. It's not really just how does he look, it's like, did he all of a sudden jump in size that's like questionable that's what i would look for i'm gonna say gabe's natty I, i'm very confident in that so far tristan lee so i didn't get to meet him this trip sadly but you've you've trained you met him before you've i've met him, him before person. i've done a lot of videos on this guy I followed him since he was like first did that guest posing event when he was like 15. Mad young, yeah. i have a theory on this guy i think he started off natural for a long time and people were like he's not not natty and i was like this guy's natural then I think the pressure got to him trying to maintain four and a half percent body fat and I think he got on something for a while like perhaps a year. Just the pressure, the struggles, how hard it would have been. I feel like he would have inevitably had to try it. Then I think he had to say this isn't healthy, this is not good and I think he stopped and so I think he's 100% natural now. I think he started off natural and then I think he dabbled in things for maybe a year and then he stopped and you know that's my personal opinion. I don't know but mm -hmm. that would be what I would guess. Just like looking at these pictures, I'm like mesmerized. I'm like, holy shit, dude. Like, there's no way. I mean, he looks like stage, right? Like leaner than a lot of but like pro bodybuilders. For, for a prolonged period of time though, he stays like pretty, he's always been pretty lean. And like, bro, I could go on that carnivore diet and I know for a fact I'm not gonna get even this lean off of that. Like, I don't know if that's like the cheat code or what, but I have heard like people who are shorter or whatever can get prescribed like like growth hormone and shit like that. Like I've seen- He very well could have been giving here. growth hormone. I was a school teacher. I know some kids that were given uh, growth hormone by their doctors. If you're above or below a certain height, a certain age, they can in fact prescribe that before your bones close off. But like somebody like you or Tristan at this age, you wouldn't grow from- from GH because yeah. your bones are shut down. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say not natural. There's just, I just saw, and he's so strong while being, like he was pushing up like Six, Bradley right? Martin weight almost. Yeah, I, he was stronger than I was on like shoulder presses, 120 pound dumbbells. Yeah. So I was like, man. And he's what, do you know how much he weighs? Like 140. Like, yeah, so Brad is 260 and I remember watching a video or something, he was like almost pushing the same weight as Brad on shoulder press. It's wild, he's so I'm strong. Like, Tristan, we want to see you in a powerlifting meet. Next up is going to be Jeff Side. So he's like an icon in the fitness industry. I'm sure you've seen him. So this is him at 15. Wild uh, genetics at such a young 20, age. 20, I believe. You've seen <laughs> Jeff, and he's been bulking up quite a bit. I feel like my, my opinion, just real quick, is that I think because he did the Olympia thing, right? Or yeah, whatever, he was in with the, like Steve Cook. I think he took gear then. Mm -hmm. I also think so. I think he did it natural at the young age. I mean, you don't know. Like, maybe the guy just started at 15. Like, he might have. You don't know. But he had a full man's body at like 17, like a 25 year old aesthetic guy. As a kid, he looked better than most. But to get to that Olympia level, I just don't think he did that natural. Mm -hmm. And now I think, he, I think he goes on and off, and I think he masks it by the bulk. I think he bulks up and is natural when he's bulking and he kind of masks the lack of muscle size with some more body fat and then I think when he cuts he goes on a little bit and gets that aesthetic look and then gets those photos then he goes off and bulks again so I think mm -hmm. the bulk is a mask for when he's off and I think when he diets down he goes on gear that's my personal opinion on what this guy's doing one of my personal favorites is mike thurston so you related vaughn's uh physique to him quite a bit i gotta hear your opinion on him do you think he's natty so a lot of people do uh it's it's hard to say because like when i was looking at it he's got this eight-year transformation so this is apparently at 18. i've seen 18 year olds like definitely way bigger than this so i guess at this age and then this i think is him at 20. that looks like it looks like he he got all his gains in like two years but he still has gotten a little bit bigger over the years. That, that, that's him at like 20, 21. I can't remember what, what he said that was, but like. The giveaway is he's been up and down in size tremendously throughout the last eight years, eight to 10 years. So okay. he'll get bigger and more cut. Like when he was in Ibiza, he was wearing the red shorts, walking around with a crazy tan. That. The guy looks like he's like a pro bodybuilder at this point. And I'm like, there's no way in that photo that guy's natural. And you look back to when he was younger, he had a lot of size. Then he went through a period where he looked like he lost 10 or 15 pounds of muscle. Then suddenly he gained it back. And so to me, that's a telltale sign of he's going on and off. And when he goes off, for whatever health reasons perhaps, 
he loses some size and he goes back on and he gets more impressive and he, he diets yeah. down when he's on so he gets leaner and fuller and just looks crazy with the vascularity mm -hmm. and then he takes a break from that downsize a bit and travels the world and so I think he just dabbles in it on and off and I don't think he ever uses high doses so that's not such an extreme change that you're like okay it's so obvious mm -hmm. but it's to me it was boost. obvious yeah just a little bit of a boost like up and down 10 or 15 pounds, that's all it takes. I don't think he's a lifelong natural. Maybe he's like natty now, I don't know. Maybe he's on like TRT or some shit, but I don't I, I don't think he's a lifetime. It could be as simple as using a SARM. Like yeah. literally, like people that are thinking that's natural, it's like, you don't have to be on trend to be not natural. Nick Bear. So you were bringing this up because I guess you said recently he stopped running as much and he gained 30 pounds on a bulk. A lot of controversy. Nick Bear, a lot of people are saying he's on steroids. He put on like, I think it was literally 29 pounds in say six months. I was like, there's no way this guy did it natural. He's running 70 miles a week and he cut it down to 20. So he stopped running 50 miles less and went on a bulk and started lifting weights at the same time. The guy was trained for marathons. Mm -hmm. So he stopped doing marathons, joined the gym, started lifting serious again while eating in a surplus of calories and put on 25 pounds. And it's not all shreds. It's like some body fat and some yeah. muscle. I think he did that 100% natural. This one is a newer guy. One of my personal favorites in the industry is coming up a little bit, gained some traction over the last like few months. John Schwartz. So I'm pretty sure he recently has, he just he competed in a show and then went on a bulk. And he when he went on the bulk, he told people that he was like hopping on gear. He's strong. Like first off, his legs are thick. Like no one, yeah. he did, I think he did men's physique too. But I've seen him squatting before. I think I watched like one of his YouTube videos and he was like, putting up serious weight. If he was natural then, expect him to gain tremendous amounts of size. And if he doesn't, then he probably was not natural the whole time. Because if you go from being 100% natty to not natty, and you don't gain 10 to 20 pounds of muscle in like a year or two, there's, then you weren't natural so before. So that's down one of each of these things. What do you think it has like half? I <laughs> feel like there's some energy. I'm not kidding. I'm like, man, there's something in my body. It's almost like I was drugged or something. <laughs> I'm like, whoo! Last one we're gonna do is me. So that was me at right. 18. This is 190 pounds. This was 170 pounds. The leaner you are, it just I feel like it brings that that freak factor of looking like not natty. So if I didn't know you or know any story or know any backdrop, I would look at this and say, I think it's natural. It's funny with that or not, it's because you don't know. You're doing the best you can to guess at what you see. And a lot of times it's the numbers. Funny. I feel lean now. But I, when I went to this point after my last show, I did not feel lean at all. Because mm -hmm. I was at 5%. When I went to 9, I was like, oh, this sucks. I lost this cut, this cut, this cut. But now yeah. that I'm at 9, I'm like, 9's freaking ripped. And I feel like I'll learn that over this like bulk. But I mean, I'm hoping that I can still put on size. If I do a six-month bulk and then, you know, come off the bulk. And then I, my goal is to be like natural. Like in my life is to be 180, 10% body fat. And I'll be like... Man, you're close to that now. That's what I'm saying. That's what like I'm hoping. Like maybe the bulk, the bulk can help me get there. I'll be very excited. I can tell you that that goal that you have, once you get it, Nine it will ten. no longer be good enough. You're never going to be satisfied. Yeah, no, that's, that's definitely true. That is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Took something away from it. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and sub. Check out Greg's channel. We just did a crazy fitness challenge yesterday. It was really was like fun. down to the wire. Super fun. Oh yeah. Um, so Hold I'm your excited. breath on that one. That one's a good one. Yeah, I'm excited to see um, how that how that comes out. See you guys next time. Peace out.